All new at five, we are looking into the next steps for nursing homes. President Biden is requiring staff to be vaccinated against COVID-19 or the facility could face funding cuts. This new mandate could take effect as soon as next month. News Six's Crystal Moyer spoke with the owner of one local assisted living center. She says she agrees with this mandate. Matt, the main issue is the workforce. The Florida Healthcare Association, representing more than 500 nursing homes, says making COVID vaccines mandatory for those workers would only make the worker shortage worse. A local nursing home owner tells me she is more concerned, though, for the residents. How could you go take care of people, especially the elderly, and not be vaccinated? Because when you get out there, you don't know what you're taking back to them. Diane Anderson has been running Asbury Manor Assisted Living in Orlando for nearly 20 years. She says she's doing everything she can to help keep her residents and employees safe with strict visitation policies, PPE and sanitizing strategies, and requiring vaccines for her staff. So far, she tells me none of her residents have tested positive for coronavirus. I've had several people came here looking for work, and I do. I'm, I do need staff. But they said they will not take the vaccine, and I say, I'm sorry, I will not be able to hire you. The debate on mandating vaccines continues on a state and even national level. Earlier this week, President Joe Biden announcing plans requiring all nursing home staff to be vaccinated or lose federal funding. More than 130,000 residents in nursing homes have had, sadly, over the period of this virus, passed away. At the same time, Vaccination rates among nursing home staff significantly trail the rest of the country. Days later, Governor Ron DeSantis spoke against that mandate, saying it wouldn't be sustainable for nursing homes. They're already short-staffed, and there's a lot of people that feel strongly against being mandated, that they think it should be something that they choose. The Florida Healthcare Association, representing more than 500 long-term care facilities in the state, echoing DeSantis's concerns in a statement that reads in part, as our members maintain their commitment to protecting our state's most vulnerable residents, it's important they have the support they need to attract and retain long-term care staff. Anderson says while some may not agree with the vaccine mandate, she thinks it's a step in the right direction. They bring the virus with them, I'd be out of business because my resident could either die or, you know, go to the hospital or something. And my resident is my business. How are we going to ever get through this? How? I don't know. The White House hasn't released any further details yet on a vaccine mandate for nursing homes. And when it would start, we'll keep you updated on any developments. In the newsroom, Crystal Moyer getting results. News 6.